Hey guys, so in this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Trouble in Trader Town on Castcraft.net. First, when you join, you'll be put into this tutorial. After you're finished, if you want to check back on it, just do tutorial space TTT. You right click the stick and it will begin telling you about the game and how it works. So in this game, there are two groups, traders and innocents. The detectives are also basically innocent. As an innocent detective, your job is to find out who the traitors are. Do not randomly go after anyone as an innocent. This is called RDM and you'll lose karma for it. As innocent, only go after people if you suspect that they are traitor. You can suspect that someone is traitor if they are going after random people. If you are a traitor, your job is to get rid of all the innocents and the detectives, and that's how you'd win the game as a traitor. Once you're done reading this, you can either do slash ttt join one, or click the sign. It's in game right now, but I'll join a new game to show you how the game works. As you can see, if a trader presses a button, then this will light up and make a noise. It will also show particles, so that's how you can tell if a person is a trader. So if you're a trader, you probably shouldn't go and test. If there is about 9 or 8 people, there will be multiple traders depending on how much people there are. There's one detective, the rest of people are innocents, and sometimes two or three traders, but usually just one. So when the game starts, you'll be spawned in here, and if you are innocent or detective, you'll, you're going to want to come over to here, where the test will be. Usually traders wouldn't be hanging around here, but sometimes they are. And Caleb was the traitor. Okay, in this round, I'm the traitor, which means that I'm supposed to go after the three other people. They don't know that I'm the traitor because they can't see that my name is Red. But if you go after people, that will give away your role. So if you really want to look like an innocent, you could go over to the tester, but you'll mo they'll most likely ask you to test even if you are at the tester. So be ready to PvP if they ask you to test, like this. You can also check their role after their character is dead by right clicking on the chest. It will show their name here, their role, when it happened, and this is a DNA sample for the detective to find out who did it. You can join the game by doing slash server ttt, or you can just use the portal that's at our spawn. Just look around the spawn and it'll be there. It has a huge sign saying ttt over it. Whenever you're innocent, make sure that you do not go after the detective. They'll have a blue name. Right now, that's Wiggles. He... We're supposed to help him to find the traitors, which if we go after him, we look like a traitor, so you don't want to just randomly go after people. Also, if you do that, then you would end up losing karma from going after random people if they're the same role as you. So as you know, when you, you're a traitor and you press this button, then this will turn to glowstone, light up, make a noise, show some particles, but if you're an innocent or a detective, it just won't do anything. If someone asks you to test when you're an innocent, just test because it's karma baiting if you don't test, because you would be making yourself look like a traitor, they would go after you and they would lose karma, so that's karma baiting, you don't want to do that. And that's basically how the game works, so thanks for watching, if you liked the video, put a like, subscribe, peace out.